Alright, so to get started you need some ground beef that you need to brown like I'm doing here. And then you'll add some Italian sausage to this that, well really, you can use whatever sausage you want, but I like the Italian because it's pre-seasoned and perfect. You'll just brown all this together and then drain it and return it to the pan and so forth. Lasagna is one of my favorite things in the world. I love it. It's meaty, it's saucy, it's cheesy, it's warm, it's gooey, it's everything that you could wish for. So you'll put some salt there if you want to. You don't have to, I guess. And then when it has browned, you can add some minced garlic. That's about two cloves. You don't have to do this now. You can do it first, but your garlic is going to burn and it's not going to taste very well. Also, this makes your kitchen smell amazing, just in case you were wondering. Now I'm adding some tomatoes, just a can of diced tomatoes with the juice. This was a cup of water or so. That's just really to make the sauce a little bit more loose and not quite as thick. And a can of pasta sauce. I used pasta sauce because it's so much easier than mixing this all as it's just a big mess. That's the word. That's what that is. A big mess. Now some seasonings. Whatever you want. I used oregano and parsley flakes. And tomato paste. There's not a way to make putting tomato paste in anything pretty, so don't judge me on that. It, it can't happen. But it does add a nice little extra level of um, flavor to this dish. Cover it and let it simmer for uh, about a good 20-30 minutes, and then to your water, salt it before you drop your noodles in. And in this bowl, I have some ricotta cheese. I, I can't do Italian today. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, that's cheese. And I'm going to add some cottage cheese and some Italian blend cheeses. You don't have to use cottage cheese if you don't want to. I know some people that don't like it, but I think it's good. So I'm using it. And to make this a little bit creamier, add just about a fourth a cup of milk or so, not much. Now to your casserole dish here, just get a cup of sauce and spread it out, one or two cups, and then layer your lasagna like this. First, four noodles layered on top of each other, just a little bit. And then your cheese mixture and just spread that around. And then some more noodles. And then I mixed some of the cheese layer mixture stuff with the sauce to make one layer and add more noodles and more sauce and then top it all with cheese. What I love about lasagna is it doesn't have to be one set way. You can layer this however you want, use whatever you want, as long as it's got sauce and cheese and noodles, it's lasagna. At least that's how I look at it. Ta-da! Here is your lasagna, nice and 
delicious looking and everything in between and it smelled great when I made it I'm sure it'll smell good when you make it sometimes it becomes lasagna soup and that's okay just eat it and enjoy it I hope you like this video please share it with other people who you think deserve to know how to make this or you just want to share it because why not that's the purpose of the show is to share everything with the world anyway thank you so much for watching I'm going to eat this now, and that's it. And on that note, I shall see you all later.